You've noticed that when you squat or maybe stand up, move your knee, your knees crack. I'll first tell you how the tension affects your knee joint. And then after that, we'll do exercises together to get rid of that as well. Here you see the femur and the tibia and a certain distance between the two bones. This distance between the two bones is good. Between the two bones, you have your menisci, your cruciate ligaments, and of course, the cartilage surface of those two bones. Your cartilage needs pressure and relief to build up and regenerate. Let's go to the other side, to the right side of the skeleton. You see almost no space in between. What does this mean exactly for your knee? You get pressure. For a short time, it doesn't matter. Your menisci can compensate that well. But if the pressure is there for a long time, that means that your cartilage and also your menisci wears out. So there's wear and tear that occurs. Okay, let's get to the cracking in the knee. It's not really understood to this day why joints crack. One of the common reasons is air bubbles in the joints. The CO2 contained in the joint fluid turns into gas when the joints are pulled long. Bubbles form and then burst. And that brings us back to the subject of tension. If there was no tension around the joint, there couldn't be that much pressure inside a joint in the first place. So cracking is not dangerous, but what can be a sign is that there's a lot of tension in your body. And we're releasing that together now so that it can't cause damage in the first place. About the exercises, we'll do three exercises together for your knee and hold each exercise for two minutes. This is very important that you stick with me for the two minutes to get your best result. We'll start now with the first exercise. Sit on the floor, take your foot towards your butt. Keep your legs parallel to each other. Make sure that you don't move your legs outwards so that you have very good tension. And the stretch should be at the thigh. Maybe a little bit above the knee, depending on where you have the most tension. Please watch your limit. Don't go over the 10. And again, belly button in. Don't let it pull you into a hollow back. This will give you a more intense stretch for your thigh. Why do we stretch the thigh? Your hamstring contains your kneecap, which greatly affects your knee joint. Just as a portion of your hamstring is responsible for how much tension or how the tension is in the real in your knee joint. You're doing great. If you can, increase the stretch and go back a little more. If not, just stay in the position. Don't worry about it. It doesn't have to look perfect at first. The important thing is that you feel the stretch well enough in the thigh knee area. You should be able to breathe well. Concentrate on breathing in. Breathing out. And you've done it. Shake out your legs, loosen up a little. And we'll go to exercise two. Stretch out your leg. Put your foot towards you and your other leg loosely next to it. You can also put it up, it doesn't matter. It's all about the extended leg. Push all the way through the knee. Your back remains straight. If you can't quite reach your foot, no problem. Grab a towel, a belt, and put it around your foot and pull yourself forward a bit like this. The stretch should be at the back of your leg. This may go over the back of the knee towards the thigh butt area and partway into the calf a little bit. 
Breathe well. Watch your boundary. As soon as you notice the stretch is wearing off, go a little further into the stretch. We're going to stretch the front of the thigh, the back of the leg, and right away the calves together, so you have an all-around release for your knee joint. If you can't get your hands in, don't worry about it. The main thing is that you have a very good stretch. You did great. Okay, loosen the leg. Very good that you went through the two exercises with me. Let the exercises flow into your everyday life every day. And if you notice that there's still a little bit missing, that there is still some pain, then do the third exercise as well. Now it's time for the last exercise together. Why are the calves so important for your knee? Your calf muscles start at your thigh and pull across the back of your knee and eventually go to your heel and form the Achilles tendon. And to make sure you really get the tension out everywhere, join me for this last exercise. If you don't have a knee hero at home, no problem. Stand by the stairs or put a book under your feet. Make sure you don't slip. Bring your other leg forward. Take a small step. Feel free to lean against the wall and push your pelvis forward. Your leg stays completely extended and the heel should stay on the floor. So you feel a good stretch in the calf muscles. Last exercise to hold for two minutes. If your cracking is accompanied by pain, it is recommended to really do this exercise every day. If you just have a crackling sensation, it's enough to do the exercise about three times a week so that you get the tension out of those tissues. Click the link above to download our free guide to knee pain. You'll discover everything you need to know about knee pain and get more pain relieving exercises you can do at home. Watch another video and we'll show you more exercises and stretching routines for your knee. To get to our other knee routines, just click here. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, click here. Join us now. We're waiting for you. Until next time. Bye.